Yo, 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 yo. It's ODB from OLP. Thanks so much for coming back and rocking with us every single week. Many of you have listened to every episode or nearly every episode, and I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. We gave a shout out to so many of you on the last episode. And of course, I felt like I, I did leave some folks out. And, um, you know, that's the tough thing I always feel about doing some of those episodes because, you know, you know, you have so many good kinfolk out there and you can't mention everyone. But on this episode, you may have noticed, I've said this before, but I am going to keep this episode a little bit shorter and hopefully a little bit sweeter because just had a lot going on the last couple of weeks. We're kind of in the midst of summer. I know you're maybe scratching your head going, yo, ODB, it's September. Well, that's summer in Florida. So, you know, definitely a lot going on. I've enjoyed the bi-weekly episodes and it's just kind of getting through the summer. So rest assured, I've got a jam-packed list of guests for the rest of the year. And I think you guys are going to be uh, definitely stoked uh, for who we're going to have on. You know, a lot of good stories and that's what we're going to continue to do. Now, I do want to thank our title sponsor. The continued support from Scraping the Coast is vastly appreciated. And we want to remind everyone it's every June in Biloxi. Join us for one of the biggest and baddest shows in the country, Scraping with an I-N. That's scrapingthecoast.com for more good kinfolk. And it's an awesome show. They continue to pivot and move and make great moves. And we're happy to be a partner uh, with them. On this episode, we're going to talk, I'm going to talk about Lone Star Throwdown 2025 now. My co-host, Biggity Mike DeMayer, has been, I hate to use the word again, gallivanting. This guy cannot be stopped. About a week ago, I said, hey, man, you're staying home for the weekend, right? And, and polishing and, and chroming and hustling on the truck. And he said, nah, man, we're going to Orlando on a family vacation. I was like, dude, you were just gone for like 10 days on a family vacation. He said, yeah, but the gallivanting ODB, like you always say ODB, he said the gallivanting will not stop. So Mike is doing a live show tonight with uh, John, a.k.a. Talls and Smalls. Mike was out uh, recently in the Orlando area. I think he was gallivanting to Universal Studios, and he had all that going on. So uh, big ups to him. We'll try to sync back up in a couple weeks. But as I've always said, the show, Kinfolk, to all the kinfolk out there, the show must go on. And if I would have waited for Mike all these years, we wouldn't be nearing in on episode 400, which a little bit of ways away, but we're getting close. Now, this episode overview, I want to thank uh, our continued support from Hammered Weekend Wear. I mentioned in the last episode that I felt like something was coming, and it did. Uh, you can visit H A M M E R D. WeekendWear.com. Now they have two new designs. And here's the cool thing about what they do. Many of you know this, but they continue to launch new products about every 60 days, so by monthly. And when you go to hammeredweekendwear.com, on that front page, you're going to see the recent pre orders that ended. Uh, but here's the cool thing even if you didn't get it on the pre order, you could still check out their website and you can. Um, you know, typically buy into some of the normal sizes that they uh, that they launch. So although you may not be able to get the specific color that you want, you, you can still visit H-A-M-M-E-R-D, WeekendWear.com. They've got the Straight Out of Hell sick uh, mini truck on the cover of Mini Truck Magazine, but they also have an OBS Suburban, Chevy Suburban. So it, it was awesome, uh, red, white, and OBS, uh, and obsessed rather. But uh, good people, H A M M E R D, we can wear dot com for more. Now, as I said on this episode, it's going to basically be all LST. I'm going to run through just a normal, what I call banter. Uh, if you are listening via podcast app, thank you. Please also consider jumping over on YouTube. You can check it out. You can see what I'm sharing on the screen. You can see the room I'm in. As Brandon Burrell, my friend over at Modified Rides Podcast, as he once said, yo, ODB, I think you're a hoarder. And I concur, Brandon. Uh, I also want to give a huge shout out to, uh, I've, I've said this before, but Matt Nupp, 
uh, and I, I was I, I mess up, Matt. It's it's Knopp, I believe, and I say that wrong, so my apologies. But uh, he's got an OLP underboss, a YouTube uh, membership, and then also Jason Nethers. So thank you so much for uh, you know joining in with us there. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, that's a key thing because I'm going to continue to focus more on YouTube with a lot of stuff. You know, I have tons of magazines I've been acquiring for 30 plus years. I started reading trucking in 93, believe it or not. So there's so much to cover. There's so many stories. There's going to be more interviews. There's going to be more, uh, you know, face-to-face type stuff I want to do here in the Tampa Bay area. So please, if you can, like Matt Knopp and Jason uh, Nethers, uh, join us as a member. Even if you could just do the lower end membership, that really helps us. You'll also get access to the videos uh, much sooner. Uh, the episode overview, like I said, is brought to you by Hammered Weekend Wear. So uh, big ups to Hammered. Now, breaking news. I do want to share this, and I am going to share my screen here. So again, this is kind of the enhanced experience uh, that you uh, get when you follow us here on. YouTube. Okay. So this was very, very sad news. And uh, for anybody that watches uh, a lot of YouTube content, and you're probably more than familiar with VinWiki, I haven't been, you know, a huge uh, supporter, if you will, of that channel. I know of the channel. Uh, They're one of the bigger YouTube channels. And I just, you know, I've watched some of their videos. I think I've got more awareness on what they're doing now than ever. But uh, this article on roadandtrack.com, remembering automotive YouTube superstar Robert, nicknamed Rabbit Pitts, fellow Vin Wiki uh, YouTuber, Travis Bell speaks with Road and Track about his friend, the late Rabbit. And it says, Rob Rabbit Pitts made it easy to like him. He was a, a natural sense of story. Uh, he had a natural sense of story and a voice dipped in Carolina honey. Uh, he made the used car business an adventure for those of us who knew him only through the YouTube or Netflix. The loss is tough. And many of you saw this. There was a huge outpouring of support for the passing of Rabbit. I knew of him through some of the videos but I knew of him because of the Netflix show that he was on. And uh, man, he brought a smile to my face. I always loved how he kind of had that Southern drawl and he just was a super nice guy. I did not personally know him. I never met him before, but I've seen just again, an outpouring of support uh, for rabbit. So uh, what I would tell you is um, from what I read, uh, I think it was uh, stomach cancer. And, um, yeah, so it says uh, it was stomach cancer that took him. Rod Pitts grew up in Greenville, South Carolina. Only 40, he was only 45 when he passed away on Sunday while in hospice care in his current hometown of Seneca, uh, South Carolina. I believe I saw something where just in the last year or two he was married, and he just he had gotten married. He fell in love with someone, and she loved him, and he loved her. And it's it's such a sad story, man. It just brings goosebumps because, you know, not in a good way, but, you know, we often talk about you live once. And, you know, this guy went out there and lived his dreams. Uh, so many of you knew him um, from either, either the personality that he had or maybe you knew him from meeting him at a car show. So I definitely wanted to say rest in peace. If you haven't heard, if you've been kind of under a rock or maybe you're not on social media much, uh, you know, just Google Robert Rabbit Pitts. Uh, There's a ton of good videos. They've shared some older stuff on the VinWiki uh, channel. And uh, rest in peace uh, to him. Uh, Next, I wanted to mention, uh, although we're going to be talking about Lone Star Throwdown on this episode, I'm going to talk about kind of like a top 10 things you need to know. I want you guys to know that Southeast Mini Truck and Nationals, a.k.a. Mini Nats, they did post that their registration, I believe, is going to open up on October 1st. So we've got a little bit of time, less than four weeks, and there'll be more information there. Many of you are accustomed to their process. You have to upload photos. We'll be talking about that now with Lone Star Throwdown as well. But mini Nats, we would highly encourage you if you can come out, even if you can't get the golden ticket, maybe your ride isn't ready. Maybe you live far and wide and you can't get your car or truck there. Fly on in. 
uh, and you'll have a damn good time. So, Mini Nats, we love the show every April in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. The breaking news is brought to you by our kinfolk at Lone Star Throwdown. We'll be talking about more on this episode. LoneStarThrowdown.com for more. The general updates. Uh, football, my friends, is back. And believe it or not, at the day of this recording is the kickoff of the season. Again, I've been super busy trying to balance everything I've had going on. But if you are a professional U.S. football fan, it is back. And I'm super excited for it. I know DJ Mays, the official DJ of OLP's podcast, our friend. I know he loves football. And I know Diggity Dom loves it just as much. I'd love to cut a promo for him right now, but we just don't have the time, Mays. Uh, But I would tell you, check him out via uh, Facebook and Instagram. He's got very cool USB sticks you can buy, and you can check out his mixes. Uh, I know he still does Twitch when he can, uh, when he can, but he's also DJing so many events around the country. So I want to give a huge shout out uh, to DJ Mays. Now, uh, here's another thing I want to share my screen on. So, you know, Mike is always, you know, giving me a hard time about, you know, he's got a nicer Mazda and, you know, he's going to have more points than me. And, you know, that's all Mike. You know, I, I know some of you guys think this, but the big homie, Josh Ellis, he, what, he and I were talking the other day. Shout out to Josh. And, uh, you know, he says, yo, ODB, I think what you need to do is I think you need to just give Mike the, give Mike the uh the all of the points. Be the bigger man. You know, don't even battle him. Who cares about the showdown at Eastbound Get Down 2025, okay? Who cares about the Mazdas going toe to toe? Uh you know, he said he'd rather see a fist fight between us two, but I said, you know, I don't know about that. But Josh said, "Hey, remember the Motor Trend article which goes back some years?" Rest in peace, Courtney Hallowell. And I'm showing this here on the screen. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Or you can Google negative camber truck club, Courtney Hallowell. It'll probably bring up the Motor Trend article. But at the end of this article, after he talks about who were the first five in NC, Courtney Hallowell, Brian Gendro, Sal Marchese, Boomer, uh, Glasner, and Mike Peters. Uh, We've had Mike Peters on. We've had Gendro on. We need to get uh, Sal on. Uh, And rest in peace, Courtney. But when they asked him, was there anything else you would like to add? He says, if you're doing it for trophies, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. This is a quote. Shows are just an excuse to sit in a lawn chair and have a couple of beers, or in my case, liquid deaths, with your homies. Don't stress over the five points for a fire extinguisher the judge might have missed. End quote. I couldn't have said it better. And that's the great thing about Courtney Hallowell. You know, his presence in our scene still lives on. If you think about some of the quotes, you think about why it's strange. And, you know, Courtney being the editor of Mini Truck and Magazine for the period of time and all the contributions that he's made, you know, starting the group photos on the cover that, you know, we're continuing to see, you know, different folks do in our scene. Like he was so far ahead of his time and uh, rest in peace, Courtney Hallowell. But Josh Ellis, thanks for reminding me, you know, I'm not going to get baited into Biggity Mike, the mayor trying to talk about, you know, he's got, you know, a lower truck than me and put my truck down. You know, I, you know, I'm working on getting a CB in my truck, you know, and get my, you know, CD changer working, you know, I'm just trying to like, you know, have an old school build Mike. And there's, there's no reason for you to try to pick a fight. You know, and try to, you know, wrestle me to the ground at Eastbound Get Down, which, by the way, Eastbound Get Down, their pre-registration opens on Saturday as well, September 7th. So we've got people coming as far as Texas that I've heard probably further. We hope that you join us at Eastbound Get Down 2025, Destination Daytona, in January 2025. And one of the great things about it, my friends, it's a lot cooler then. The general updates is brought to you by our kinfolk at Southeast Mini Truck and Nationals. Also known as Mini Nats, again, pre-reg opens on October 1st. Big ups to Jason Bell and team and all of the casting characters behind Southeast Mini Truck and Nats. Yo, so this week, I hate to say it, I'm not going to have a trivia with Mike, but I do want to make a correction. Some of you pointed this out. I think last time I, I was hee-hauling around 
about the Brat Pack. And I mentioned, uh, I think Cor- I think I said Demi Moore was in the Bruce Springsteen video where she got pulled up on stage, but that was actually Courtney Cox. And some of you have corrected me on that, and I'm pretty certain it was Courtney Cox. I was a little in my head. I was like, I don't think it's Demi Moore, but she had black hair. That's where my mind was at. So because I had to issue the correction, I'm not going to do trivia this week. I know Roxy and Robert Simmons, you know, they're going to be, you know, slamming the uh, fiberglass over there in the shop because there's no trivia this week. And Joey's already got the dash out. You know, Chad has confirmed that. Mr. Chad Luke, we appreciate you, dog. But the trivia with Mike is brought to you by Garage Gear Clothing. Remember, Lonnie Radar and their fabulous wives are behind Garage Gear Clothing. If you want to support the real deal Holyfield, visit garagegearclothing.com. You can pick up the merchandise at shows. They also have a free shipping option if you send, or excuse me, if you spend a certain threshold on their website. Big ups to the kinfolk at Garage Gear Clothing. Hut one, hut two, hut three, hut. Old Dirty Ballard, live and uncut. Listen, this is a similar message I send every episode. I feel like it's a, I'm on repeat, but I think this is an important thing. Do the things you want to do in life. Get out there. Accomplish the goals or do whatever. If you want to lounge around on a beach or read a book or go to a show or maybe you want to go to SEMA, figure out how to do the things that you really want to do because I just covered a story a little bit a, while, a few minutes ago on Rabbit. Dude. It blows me away that I'm going to be 46 years old this November. And we're losing people. You know, he was 45 years old. Like, he's younger than I was. Like, that really hits me and says, wow, dude. Like, I, sometimes I feel, like, lucky to still be alive. You know, every day I wake up, I'm thankful. I've got another day to get up and accomplish stuff. Spend time with my family. See my mom. You know, do those things. So, Certainly, I would encourage everyone to do that. You know, when I was in school, I never, I hated public speaking. I hated, um, you know, getting in front of the class and all of that stuff. And it's like over the course of time, you know, in my career, I've had to get up in front of people and train people and do all kinds of sort of, sort of things. So I really got outside of my comfort zone. And I think that's an important thing for people to do because, you know, a lot of times you might go, well, I don't want to go here because I don't know anybody or I don't want to go do this because, you know, I don't know. Am I going to do it right? And people are just sometimes scared to try new things, I think. And what I've kind of learned is, like, you got to get out of your comfort zone. you got to get out there. you got to talk to people. You know, whatever it is that you want to do. You know, hell, if you want to learn to fly and you're maybe you're just like, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I can afford it. Figure out a way. You know, there's a way. If there's a will, there's a way. So that's my feedback. Hut one, hut two, hut three, hut. Old Dirty Ballard, live and uncut this week. I want to thank Mini Truck and Magazine. Many of you are subscribed. If you haven't already, minitruckandmag.net. They are back. And issue two uh, recently is launching, but they also dropped the new cover. And what I want to do is I want to see if I can pull it up really quick. I wasn't uh, planning to do this. But, you know, since I know these Instagrams, you would think that I do. I'm going to see here. Okay. So let me share my screen. That's the cool thing. Um, If you're on the net and you know someone's Instagram, you can go to Instagram.com slash, and then you can click that in. So check this out. This is the new cover. So the new Mini Truck and Magazine, as I'm calling it, the return, and I say that because they put that on the cover of their first issue. You basically have Mr. Ellis's Nissan Hardbody King Cab. Mike would call it an extended cab. He would be wrong. Uh, this is Mini Nats 2024. You've got coverage, Battle in Bama, Van Fest, uh, CTM Show, which is uh, Custom Trucks Mag, I believe, Unfinished Business, and more. So. Super awesome. And uh, James Ellis, as I said, Mr. Ellis, rep and acrophobia. What a cool shot right there. Now, they did not say who shot it. I don't know if it was Corey. I, I would assume it was Corey. 
uh, Floyd. But uh, if so, big ups to Corey. If not, we'll get a chance to see. This is the September 2024. Now, I realize some of you uh, did not get in on the total 2024 subscription. I think you had to get in at 25 before the launch, and then you got all three issues. But you'll be able to go to their website, minitruckandmag.net, and order one of these. Uh, many of you have doubled up. I know I have on the first issue. So I'm looking forward to my subscription automatically coming. My guess is in 2025, they'll end up probably quarterly, right? Uh, since they're doing three this year. And uh, I'm excited for them. Uh, if you want to see the first issue, you can find my reaction and my kind of flip through, if you will, right here on YouTube. Check it out. I go into depth as I go through the issue and then I give my reaction as well. I actually just looked at the first issue just like about a week ago, believe it or not. I had not even opened mine. I wanted to kind of let the dust settle and I talk about that in the episode. So certainly please check it out. Uh, the podcast update. So I want to tell you this in about two weeks, we are going to be at the freaking with an I N weekend. Uh, if I look at the calendar, many of you are going to be listening to this on Friday, September 6th. In two weeks from today, we will be at Amplified Designs presents The Freakin' with an IN, The Freakin' Weekend Show, Harris Gulf Coast. You can go uh, on Facebook and Instagram for more information. There's, of course, an event page, but The Freakin' Weekend, for short, everybody calls it freaking weekend. It's going to be a freaking awesome time. I want you to come out. I want you to have a good time. We're going to be in Biloxi. So many of you I hit up, I said, hey, can you pre-register for the show? You know, show Trip some love. I said, yo, ODB, I'm already pre-registered, yo. And that's what I love to hear. We're going to be out there. So many of us are gallivanting from Florida. Mike and I will be there, and we're going to have a damn good time. So come check us out. Okay, LST 2025, I know I'm getting into this a little quicker than I thought I was going to, but I need to kind of get going with some of this. So here's what I want to kind of reinforce. I'm going to go through a few things, and I'm going to share my screen. LST, Lone Star Throwdown, okay, they made some changes to positively impact the experience at their event. It's a world-class event that they have. Now, I've argued that this is the biggest and baddest truck show in the country. There are some other truck shows like the Grand National Roadster Show. They've realized the impacts of trucks. Now they're doing a, a truck event. Uh, you know, there's there's other kind of classic truck shows. But I think when I say Lone Star Throwdown, when I say that it's a world-class event, it really is. I mean, if you like trucks on big wheels and you like some badass cars mixed in and you love some mini trucks and some lifted trucks... And oh, by the way, some body trucks, full chassis, tons of vendors. Then you want to come out to Conroe next year in February 2025. It's going to be insane. It is insane every single year. And we would highly ask that you come out and have a good time with us. Now, if you go to LoneStarThrowdown.com, they have a countdown timer on there, about 168 days to the uh, event. And uh, I want to talk more about a few key things that you need to know. Now, if you want to bring your ride, especially a mini truck, okay, Radar wants minis there. And as I said, if you look at the first issue of mini trucking and you look at the coverage from 2024, there were a ton of mini trucks there. Now, I know they kind of get swallowed up by all of the other full-size trucks, but if you really went around and counted them, there were a ton of mini trucks there. And plus, the mini trucks, you have an opportunity to win a top 10 mini of the event. You get the really cool fill built award if you're on that upper echelon. But if not, you could still get a top, uh, I think it's a top 100 they do now. And there's so many other awards. There's great people behind this event. But you must, for 2025, you have to submit a registration. And that's the key thing. The pre-registration opens on September 7th. So if you're listening to this on day one, it opens tomorrow, September 7th, 2024, and it's $80. It's a great value. You must include a photo of your truck or car when you pre-register. That is a key thing, okay? 
So they have made a uh, change, and this change is for the better because they want to make sure that the people that are coming to this event, okay, it's not that you have to have a $200,000 truck. It's not that you have to have a $50,000 truck. It doesn't matter how much your build is. They want to make sure that you're a true truck enthusiast. You know, you're a real person. You're someone that wants to come to this event and not cause any havoc. And this screening process, as I'm calling it, is going to allow for them to do that. Lonnie has publicly said Lone Star Throwdown did not start as an event to cater to $250,000, $300,000 plus builds. There are a few probably there, right? But the good thing is he said, hey, that's not where we started, nor is that where we're going. So they want everyone, if you want to go to this event with your ride, like many of you do, pre-register. It's that simple. Uh, uh, the email that was blasted out, which I want to show to you here, is a key thing. So many of you have been to this event before, like I have, and you're probably on their mailing list. Okay. This email here, if you're watching us on YouTube, this email here says registrations open online Saturday, September 7th, 2024 at 2 p.m. Central Time. Okay. So that's going to be 1 p.m. Eastern for those scoring at home. If you're like me and you want to get in, set a reminder, okay? Many of you have iPhone, you have a Google Android device, or you have, dare I say the A word, Alexa in your home, okay? Or a Google Mini or whatever the hell you got, right? Set a reminder. Hey, remind me on Saturday, September 7th at 1250, blah, 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 or put a calendar invite that has a pop-up on your phone whatever you need to do. Now, the good thing is because of this pre-registration process, Alani and Radar were very, very clear. They said, hey, let everyone know. Be patient with them since this is their first time doing this submission registration. They're new to doing this registration method, and they're not 100% sure how fast they're going to be able to get through the entire process. The key thing is, is if you want to go, submit your ride. Okay, they're going to go through them. Other shows have had to go through this process as well to make it a better experience for the show goers, okay? Uh, the show promoters will be working diligently to go through all the registration applications. So please be patient through the process. There's three email addresses, Lonnie's personal email, Radar's personal email, and LST registration email, okay? If you are driving and listening to this podcast, you can come back to this point, uh, which is around the 27 minute mark. And you can take a screenshot if you have to, okay? Uh, the information is there. As a reminder, do not submit your registration application on any third-party websites. The only place to submit your registration is on LoneStarThrowdown.com under the registration tab or directly on LSTRegistration.com. Why is that important, okay? There are tons and tons of scammers out there, okay? We've seen this at all kinds of events, even Eastbound Get Town. The folks go out there and say, oh, in the comments, you want to register? Click a link. You can register. Okay, and you look at that link, and that link goes, oh, it looks like it says LST. They're using like a tiny link website that I use too. And you can go on those websites, and you can make a, you can make a link say whatever you want it to say, okay? Don't click links in comments on Facebook. Okay, scammy, 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 all written over it. You want to register for Lone Star Throwdown? LoneStarThrowdown.com. That's where you want to go. Uh, if you want to plan to have a good time, come on out. Now, let's say, for instance, for whatever reason, you go, yo, ODB, I've been wanting to come to this show. You've been saying, hey, do what you want to do in life. I'm going to come out to Conroe at the end of February 2025. But I'm not bringing a truck, right? I'm too far. I can't. Maybe you don't have a truck. Galavan on in. Oftentimes, I can't say for sure if Extensive is going to do their open house, but oftentimes a lot of people will peel away and they'll go to the Extensive Metalworks with the hit TV show Texas Metal. They'll go over there, right? They'll hit In and Out Burger. They'll do the different things that you can do. And guess what? You can get a weekend ban, cash only, at the gate, and I think it's twenty bucks. It might have went up, but it's it's usually about twenty or twenty five dollars. And you get into this event for three days only at the event. You can't buy those tickets online. So 
Come on out to Conroe. I guarantee you're going to have a good weekend. Now, if the merchandise uh, is something that you want, the LST shirts, the famous banners, the skate decks, the metal signs that they do, either get there on Friday or have a friend that's at the event on Friday pick your merchandise up for you, right? So you're going to have to give them the money. I think there's ATMs all around there, but I would come strapped with some cash. Give them the money, PayPal them, whatever, however you send money, and have them buy your merchandise because it sells out quick. And they have some really, really cool merchandise, some of the best in the truck scene. So big ups to our family. Uh, Cars or trucks, they can register. That's, of course. And I would add a bonus on there that the uh, their sister event, Classic Truck Throwdown, is back on for 2025. And, of course, it is going to be the same weekend um, in June. Now, I do know that Lonnie has hinted a little bit about Classic Truck Throwdown potentially changing. What I can tell you is that is not happening for 2025. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. If you want to one day go to that event, that event, of course, is going to be about five, about four months later after Lone Star Throwdown. And that's their sister event, Classic Truck Throwdown, every June at the same location. So until we hear otherwise, we know that that will continue to be in June. But those are some of the key things. Um, I do want to uh, also, you know, reinforce again, like what I said at the at the top, you know, doing the episode like we did recently where we thank so many of you, it's tough because, you know, I start to think and I go, man, I, you know, I didn't mention so-and-so. Like I always say, it's no slight if we don't mention someone. You know, many of you, we love, we slap hands, we appreciate the camaraderie, so many of you chime in on our posts. You're good kinfolk. Um, I want to thank Craig Braid in the Pacific Northwest. I talked to him after Sit Pretty Summer Showdown, and he said, yo, everything went great. You know, we had some tough weather, but people still came out and had a great time. And he goes, yo, ODB, you've always said this. Rain or shine, you still go out and have a good time. And I said, yo, that needs to be a sticker, man. Rain or shine, we're having a good time. You know what I'm saying? I also want to thank Pig Rig, Matt Weathers. Uh, I felt like I should have mentioned him. He recently uh, hooked me up with some really cool old school. I'm talking like fat boys posters, some like promotional type stuff from the 80s. And I want to thank Matt for that. Uh, He's a good dude. He's really an OLP capo, boots on the ground, always at shows. I mean, he drove to the Severed 30th and was sending me, you know, photos and stuff to post on the Severed you know, pages and OLP and, you know, Craig does the same thing. And and there's just so many good people. So if you went out to sit pretty in the Pacific Northwest, thank you. Uh, Griot's Garage, they also had an event the same day and they also had uh, the tougher weather experience as well, but they also had a good time. Rain or shine, we're having a good time. So that was super cool to see. Um, You know, thinking back on all of the people like Scraping the Coast, Hammered Weekend Wear, Lone Star Throwdown, Garage Gear Clothing, our kinfolk at Colorado Custom Wheels, Mini Truck and Nats, AccuWare. Huge shout out to the team at Local Rides Mag, CNS Metalworks, you know, Ruben and everybody out there. We certainly appreciate all the continued support. And again, I know it seems like sometimes I'm slowing down a little bit. Rest assured, I'm not. I mean, there's definitely some things I, I'm trying to kind of work on here personally and kind of get better at things I'm doing. But the podcast is going to continue for the foreseeable future. And YouTube is going to continue to be where the majority of the content is going to funnel. So if you can jump over there and subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. If you can become a member, even if it's a lower end member, I certainly appreciate it. We're going to continue to offer some member exclusive stuff. And uh, I'm always excited to do that. Trying to think if there was anything else I want to mention. Again, Local Rides Mag. Um, I do want to show uh, the screen really quick before we close this out. I want to thank Lonnie and Radar for the continued support uh, with uh, OLP. But if you go to localridesmagazine.com, uh, you can see right here. And here's the cool thing. They have this homegrown magazine that they've been doing a fantastic job on. And if you take a look here, they've got uh, issues, as I've said, as low as eight ninety nine, which is super cool. And uh, you know, you can go out there, buy an issue or two. You know, maybe you like a certain truck, 
Uh, I've got several issues, and I can tell you it is uh, super awesome. It's a great publication. With that being said, 35 minutes. I know it's shorter, but you know what? I could have easily said, eh, pull the plug, no new episode this week. And that wouldn't have been keeping myself honest. It wouldn't have been keeping myself on track because guess what? So far this year, we've been bi-weekly every single other week. We also had uh, one or two weeks where we did back-to-back episodes, right? We snuck some in. Uh, I also want to thank Eric Felber. Uh, You know, Eric was another person I felt like I I wanted to thank. You know, if you think about everything he did to help Project Manage to Ballistic. But, you know, he and I are great friends. We don't get a chance to talk about our talk every day. But, you know, he always has got a positive message. He goes, yo, ODB, I appreciate what you do. And, Eric, I appreciate you, homie. Uh, There's so many good people out there. And I want to highlight everyone. I wish I had more time in the day, but I'm just trying to balance over here as well and get some stuff done. I got plenty of magazines to go through. But uh, in closing, uh, there's going to be more coming on the Mini Truck Hall of Fame. I'm going to try to link up with Radar soon. It looks like it's going to be same bat time, same bat channel. All that stuff's going to work out. I don't want to steal, uh, steal Radar's thunder. I know he's been working behind the scenes to line stuff up with hogs and heifers and things like that. Uh, the 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 equipment that's needed and things like that, really the production piece of it. So I want to thank Radar from the West Coast um, influence for you know everything that he does. Uh, he's a behind the scene guy, doesn't want any of the credit, but he's a good dude. Thank you so much to Scraping the Coast for being our title sponsor. And I know I'm missing something. I know I am. But if you're a listener, I appreciate you. If you ever need to talk, reach out to us. Uh, our lifestyle podcast at gmail.com is the easiest way to get a hold of us. Check out our lifestyle podcast.com and flood Mike with orders because he's been gallivanting so much. He needs to get to F and work and start shipping those orders. Mike ODB. I appreciate you all stay on the rise. We out to you.